Hello there, it's Oscar at the Virtual Factual here. On last week's video, the beginner's guide for Longsword and Messer, I got a couple of really good questions. Uh, people ask me how I came to the con uh, conclusion that in Le Kuzner's fight book for Messer, you have to make the Unterhau with the short edge. Now, given that this is a bit of a bold claim, I figured I'd make a really short video quickly explaining how I came to this conclusion. And in general, it will show how you can draw conclusions from fight books about certain techniques that are not really explicitly described. First off, a very functional argument. The Unterhau with the short edge just works better. It simply has more reach. If I do a short edge Unterhau towards Diamond here, I can hit him quite comfortably. And if I do a long edge Unterhau, I cannot hit him. Of course, there's also a couple of plays that mention the Unterhau by name and then show it in the plate. And in those plates, you can definitely see the Unterhau being done with the short edge. The first one of these we find with the Ansetzen. Ansetzen is basically what happens when someone wants to make a cut at you and you come before and stab them in long point. So in this case, when someone makes a cut from below, from the right, you come before and stab them. And in the plate, we pretty much see that that cut from below is with the short edge. Now again, from the other side, we also see a cut from below coming in with the short edge. And the same idea applies, you come before, try and stab them before they manage to launch the cut and you get away safely from there, yeah. leading to the situation we see in the plate. Now, this is not the only uh, part of the manual where the Nordenhau is mentioned and shown. Um, another notable example we find, for instance, with Durchwechsel. And in this case, it's mentioned that you should cut long from below, um, so perform an Unterhau and then change through uh, subsequently. As we can see over here, so coming in long from below, then changing through. For me, these plays really indicate that the Unterhau is to be done with the short edge. And this also ties in really nicely with Lekuna's emphasis on the Langenort, um, way more than you would see with Longsword. So making these cuts from below is a really good entry to start working with long points and from there doing all the plays that revolve around it. As such, I do really think that if you're going to be training the Unterhau and using it in any sort of situation, um, it's usually best to do it with the short edge. And that's why I advise doing it that way in my previous video. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about it. And finally, also a, a word of a heartfelt thanks to all my patrons, because it's because of you that I can make videos like this. So thanks again. Anyway, I hope to see you all for the next one. And until then, cheers.